Hello there, welcome you, Gaspar here from GP Airsoft, your fourth favorite GBBR channel. So today I have a very special video for you guys, which is the review of the MWS GBBR from Takuma Rui Mark 18 Mod 1. This is uh, supposed to be the greatest GBBR ever that was created, and I finally got my hands on one, it is brand new, and... I'm, I tested it out in a game and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a review of this gun right now uh, Shout out to my, my buddy Vinny because he gave me this gun so that I could test it out And I got this gun brand new I got it before him He allowed me to test it and play with it and record this review He asked me to not go very deep into this gun So I'm not gonna open it too much But I got a great idea of how it is This gun is a replica of the MK18 Mod 1 the MK18, as far as I've researched, is basically an upper receiver for an AR-type rifle that has a shorter barrel than the standard M4A1. And this was designed by Navy SEALs and this is the Mod 1 because the Mod 1 was added this handguard from Daniel Defense and also the crane stock as standard for the Mod 1. Without further ado, let's get to the review. Let's open the box. We already have the gun exposed to us. This came with an extra 20 round mag and it is pretty hard to get mags where I'm from but this is what we got to play and test. Also comes with a little box with some BBs and also another box with that is just a cover and you have an extra flash hider on it. Full metal, very very nice flash hider. Now here we take this off. Even the box loved this gun so much that it's not gonna let it go easily. Okay, now let's get the black cover off because we I see some things behind it. And as we can see here, we have the speed loader that is not that good. We have manual of instructions. You have a little tool that is supposed to adjust your front sight. And we're going to get into that a little later. First things first, let me tell you why I exchanged the flash hider. So easy is also a bell if you want to use it, but I exchanged it because, I, as I said, this gun is not mine and I had to add an orange tip and I did not want to paint the original tip. Overview of the gun right here out of the box is very very solid, it doesn't have anything wobbling or loose that I can feel and it is very very solid and I just have a great feeling not of a toy, although it is a little light for me but it's... It's okay for the overall length of the gun, it is not supposed to be a super heavy gun, but it's not as heavy as other that I have. Okay, the magazine has a little trouble going in, maybe because it is brand new and it's a break-in period, but it is okay. The charging handle here on the back opens the ejection port, and this one right here, it is stopping halfway because it has a little foam here that's supposed to protect from hitting the side of the gun and protecting the paint although I don't think this gun needs protection on the paint and it locks open you have the bolt release right here or you can just pull on the charging handle again to release the bolt okay we have here the forward assist is working and once again I say that I do not need it especially on airsoft but it's very nice to see that they have the attention to details to have this work now testing every time that I shot this gun it locked open no trouble whatsoever every time in game I basically use one magazine and I did not refill it before it emptied out because I wanted to see if it would lock open every time and it did okay you can use the bolt catch to lock the gun open just pull the charging handle back and press against the release you have here on the right side of the gun the magazine release which is very high for my taste but it is still very stiff so it's not gonna release your magazine by accident you have the stock here is a crane stock I know a lot of people don't like this stock at least here in my country but it is the original stock that came with the mod 1 and you have a little cap here on the back that you may be able to unscrew and store some things. The selector, it is a standard AR selector, up front is safe, upwards is semi and backwards is fully automatic 
and as always you cannot put it on safe if the gun is not cocked and I say as always but there are some guns that allow you to do that okay now here is the manual instructs you're supposed to fill in the gas in this exact position you cannot put it like this or other way because it is supposed to be filled like this I could not fill it with this adapter that I have maybe my adapter is bad because not my AK and not this gun from Tokyo Maroya can fill it so I'm using green gas here and we can see this magazine has the same system that my AK does it lets the inside air of the magazine spill out and you can know that your magazine is full when you see a white cloud because it is the gas leaking and that's the point where you're supposed to stop filling your magazine okay now here on the back you see the tab for the bolt catch I do not see any dry fire mode so if you want to dry fire this gun you're gonna have to hold down the bolt catch now to fill the magazine you have the speed loader that comes with the gun which I don't think is very useful because you need the speed loader to load the speed loader to load the magazine so that's just another process so I use this one not the WE dyno dildo that this is but just the adapter you can use this adapter to fill most of your magazines I just find this WE dinosaur one to be very very good the best one that I have so I'm always using it but just the adapter it's good enough so that you can fill the mag here on the front you have the quad rail Daniel defense that it is in a dark earth tone that is very very beautiful and you have also the markings for the rail and you have also the markings for the Daniel defense handguard that is on the front so it's completely licensed and it is a very very well built and beautiful gun it comes with this sling attachment on this rail that you can take it off and replace it or change positions if you'd like but I find it to be very good you have the iron sights already on this gun and you have this little wheel on the rear side that's supposed to adjust your windage and you just turn it right or left and it, 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 it has a very solid click to it and it also have on the front a little little marking that you that you have to align with the base of the, the site so that you know if you need to go right or left and where you are now here on the front you have adjustment for height that you're gonna use that tool that we find on the that we found on the box and we just you just unscrew or screw to have to make it higher or lower and this right here is the side picture you get with these sides okay let's weight up this gun this gun is about two and a half kilograms or about five pounds. The magazine weighs on 16.2 ounces, 458 grams. The gun with the magazine is about three kilograms or six and a half pounds. The smaller magazine weighs 11.6 ounces or 330 grams. Okay, so let's get to the magazines. I found something out that you guys may be able to hear right now. It, there is something in there that just rattles I don't know what it is I did not get to it but it doesn't make any difference I just found that out and I thought it was worth mentioning but it doesn't bother me in any way so that's just a uh, characteristic that I found on this gun and it is not broken because it is brand new and both did okay now I want to see something very very important I basically used only one magazine on the whole game because the short one did not work so well and here you can see that this magazine barely has some scratches and you can barely see just depending on the light that you may be able to see the scratches but it is so so shallow and it is just so great that the paint held up for me taking it off and putting it back taking it off and putting it back is just much better than other magazines that I've seen and getting to the point where my short magazine did not work I don't know what happened maybe some dirt got in it and it just didn't want to send the BBs up something jammed the BBs on the magazine and it was not fitting I tried for times to unjam it but it kept happening but by the end I took all the BBs out and put some BBs more BBs in here's the test I emptied the whole magazine without an issue so probably just something that got in the mechanism and it jammed it up so I'm not gonna count this as an issue of the mag or the gun itself
Now opening the gun up, we're gonna be able to see the sear. Like I said, my friend told me not to go too deep into this gun, so we're gonna just field strip it. Now here on the back you have the buffer and the buffer is very very light 24 grams or 0.8 ounces and maybe it is a reason for the lighter recoil but I can barely feel that it is lighter it is just so good this gun works very very well now we can see the trigger mechanism and we can see that it is inside of a box that just like the WE that is not exactly like the WE but like it it has a trigger box and it is not even close to something that is a real steel trigger mechanism. Now here you have your hammer, that is just how much it pops up, just this little bit. And you have the bolt catch, as you can see the bolt catch pushes up on a little plate right here that catches your bolt. And for those who, who have a problem with this or just want to upgrade, BevTech has this plate for sale in titanium so if you need an upgrade to this just buy the bath deck but that being said that it works flawlessly so here we can see where the this plate catches and this is a very very good design and we can see here on the bolt that it has some different things to it as you can see all around it, it has some bearings it has some rollers it is just very different and i believe that this was because tokyo marui decided to make the best version for a gas blowback not just mimic the real steel trigger so here I'm gonna compare it with my KWA I know you guys hate KWA but my KWA trigger mechanism I we have here the hammer that is much more like a real steel version of this and it is, has all the parts in there and it is and the parts are locked into the receiver itself not just the box so it is more realistic and that is not a demerit but I just wanted to point it out and I'm not very fond of that but like I said I think Tokyo Marie did this system uh, optimizing it to be a GBBR to the limitations of the toy and everything so I and they did a great job the, this gun works flawlessly with no problems maybe all the differences that it has from the real steel version gives it the edge that it needs to function with this system although it's not very realistic and for me is a bummer but I cannot complain it too much because you probably will never see this and in game you will never see this so now I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you try to close with the bolt out so the buffer goes all the way into the upper and you have to take the whole upper apart to take it out it's not that hard but avoid to do that here on the upper we have the hop up adjustment it is that little wheel right there that has a very very solid click and you can adjust it by by taking the bolt off and adjusting it I actually did not adjust it in game because I was just lazy I could and it would have made it better but I was just so lazy I tried to adjust it from the outside with the gun completely assembled but I I could not get to it so that's a little problem that you don't have the easy way to adjust it but it is still okay now here chronoing this gun I tend to think the Japanese gun would be just low on the FPS but you can see here 355 FPS is a decent amount 1.17 joules is just great it works flawlessly to mid range to close range that I was using this gun for it is a great FPS and as you guys can see here it barely barely changes it has a great consistency on FPS which makes this gun very very good because of its consistency Uh, I have heard all throughout the internet that the, this smaller magazine is not great for the M4 or even the Type 89 by Tokyo Marie GBBR 
but the Type 89 has some holes on the side to actually on the reel still show how much ammo you still have but this one here it did not have much problem I used it like I said just a little bit because I had trouble but probably just something that got in there and jammed it and this small magazine is still still okay for this one since it is the MWS M4 magazine not the Type 89 magazine because I've seen that it had some trouble and I tested out the full auto on this gun and it is very consistency I just tested once but it since the FPS is very consistent probably the full auto consistency comes from that okay so now we're gonna go into pros and cons on this gun starting off the bat with the full auto thing the consistency on this gun is very good this gun is very consistent has one of the most consistent FPS that I have ever seen and this gun locks open every time I did not have once that it had a problem and it works flawlessly and I loved it. The paint job on this gun is just amazing because it didn't have any scratches, I didn't have anything here that just got scratched or anything, the magazine itself held up pretty good by me taking it off and putting it back. The gun is very very solid because it feels solid on the gun like a real steel wood and it, you know that it's not that toy feeling that you get. Uh, the hop up adjustment, it, although it's not in the best position to make a quick adjustment, it is okay and clicks firmly in place and pull up BBs fairly well. I heard that if you are using heavier BBs than 0.28 grams, you may have to upgrade, but since I used 25, I had no problem. The weight on this gun is good, although I feel lighter than some other guns that I have and I really rather have a heavy gun but it's still okay for the size and I don't have too much com complain about it. The FPS was good, like I said, it's fairly consistent and 355 FPS it's very good for a gun this size to its purpose of being mid and even a little bit of a long range. So I had some issues trying to find something bad to say about this gun and right off the bat what I have for you guys is that it is expensive but it delivers a very great product so you have that. Uh, the trigger mechanism not being realistic is a bit of a bummer for me. I know that I'm nitpicking here, but I like it if the gun copies as much as they can from the real steel version. And well, probably not a worldwide thing, but here it's pretty hard to get magazines. I have a difficulty in trying to import them, and we don't have it available on my country, so this is a problem for me here. But uh, it is probably not a problem worldwide, but I just thought I'd mention it. Is the Tokyo Marui GBBR MWS the best GBBR ever? Well, yes. It is very good, it lives up to its reputation, it is very very good, works flawlessly, shoots well, gives a great feedback, feels amazing, the paint job is awesome, I, I do not have enough things to say about this gun, this is the best GBBR AR that I have ever had. Notice that I never had access to Viper Tech, that people say that they are pretty good as well, but I don't have it here. So one last thing before you guys go, follow me on Instagram because Instagram just blocked my account and I'm having to rebuild so follow me there you can help on polls and help decide things on this channel and it is pretty cool so get there one last shout out to my boy Vinny because he lent me this gun he allowed me to use it and test it although he asked me not to go too deep into it so thanks again Vinny uh, appreciate you very much you helped this channel to have a great product to review and I hope you guys already liked and subscribed the video so you don't have to do this now hope I can catch you guys on the next video See you around.